Hey folks, Matt from IreTheImage.com. We've got a question here on the email. This is entitled Nikon Lens Inquiry. This is from uh, Benj. I hope I'm saying that right. And um, he says, good day, Matt. I've just started photography with a Nikon D5300. For my lenses, I now have the standard 18 to 55 kit lens, the Nikkor 50mm f1.8G, and the Nikkor 55 to 200 f4.5 to 5.6. Um, oh no, sorry, F4 to 5.6 VR2. I'm planning on buying another lens and I'm thinking of going for a wide angle lens such as the Nikkor AFP 10 to 20 F4 5 F to 5.6 VR, so variable aperture. Uh, but I'm also thinking of upgrading from the kit lens to the Sigma 17 to 50 F2.8 OS because of its fixed aperture. Which do you think I should buy? The Nikkor 10 to 20 or the Sigma 17 to 50? I've been a follower of your YouTube channel and I love your videos. Please keep it up. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for your question, and I guess one of the things I, I need to say here is that I think um, we need a little more information because you haven't really said what you like to shoot a lot of, and frankly, um, there's reasons for either of those. I mean, if you're shooting a lot of landscapes or interiors or things where you might really want or need an ultra-wide, the 10 to 20 would be the way to go because it would fulfill and satisfy your needs. Uh, if you're mostly shooting events and portrait work and like weddings and things like that, then the 17 to 50 would be a better option because you don't need an ultra wide and you'd benefit from the constant aperture F28 OS, optical stabilization, their version of VR. So, and I love that lens, by the way, the Sega 1750. For those of you that are regular viewers of the channel, you know that's one of my favorite all time lenses for a crop sensor body, um, such as, uh, you know, a Nikon 5300 like you have or a. Um, in the Canon side, you can put it on any of the crop sensors, an 80D, 70D, 77D, T7i, you name it. Uh, even on the SL2, it should work just fine. So it uh, really depends what your needs or your shooting requirements are. If, you know, you've already got a 50 F1.8G, which is a great portrait lens. So if you just shoot the odd portrait and you're doing a lot of landscape or interiors or something, then probably the 10 to 20 from Nikon is the way to go. But if you're mostly doing events like weddings and, and some portrait work, then probably the Sigma 17-50 F2.8OS would suit your needs better. So hopefully that helps you decide, narrow it down based on your needs because that's what you're going to, um, should be looking at why you would buy either of these lenses. And frankly, I mean, if you if the budget bears, you could add both of them, maybe stagger the purchases. Uh, but I'm going to throw it back to you guys. What do you guys think? Um, do you agree with me that if, depending on what he's shooting, you go with the 10 to 20, say outdoors or if, like landscapes, interiors, or if he's doing more more uh, like wedding work or event work and especially indoors, the 17 to 50 F2.8 would serve him better from Sigma. Let me know what you guys think. Is there another option? Let us know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Let's help out Benj. Thanks for your question, Benj. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.